Hi everyone, well yesterday I uploaded a video and in it I mentioned the fact that intelligent octopus prices had come down. Um, my peak rate is now about 41p, my off peak rate is 7.5p and in that video I did mention OVO charge anytime as being a, a new tariff. Um, sometime last year OVO had drive anytime, that was withdrawn from the market. Uh, then they didn't have anything kind of EV specific and now they have got OVO charge anytime. So I just thought I would do a quick comparison of those two products. Now Intelligent Octopus, I'm on it, it's working really well for me and it works by having the cheap rate for all your electricity consumption, um, 7.5p a kilowatt hour between 23.30, so 11.30 at night and 05.30, um, oh my god it's early, in the morning. Uh, that means that um, if the car is charging in those hours, I only pay 7.5p a kilowatt hour. If I put the dishwasher on at night um, in those hours, or I put the washing machine on uh, by using the timer delay to kind of delay its start, um, I get all of my use in those um, hours at that cheap price. Um, but the downside is, during the day, I am spending 41 pence per kilowatt hour rather than 33.5p, which would be the default rate on a standard tariff. Now I've already done the maths, um, I mentioned it in a previous video, that if your daytime use is you know, more than three quarters of your electricity consumption and your, your off-peak use is less than a quarter, you're better off um, not having that peak daytime rate. Um, but it works out for me that I do about 50% of my use off-peak. Most of that is car charging because I've got a big, inefficient, very lovely Audi e-tron. Um, and I do quite a lot of miles. And uh, the other half of my use is by the household consumption. And we're quite a high consumption household. So it's not about the total amount that you use that kind of works out what's best value. It's what proportion is in off-peak versus peak. Now, OVO, I've been reading about this morning, that is a very, very different product. Um, you don't have a peak rate. Your normal household rate is 33.5p um, in my area down um, with Scottish and Southern on the South Coast. All the car charging, um, and it takes data from the car or from your charger, depending on how you set things up, uh, that is, um, you then get a rebate back on that and that is billed at 10 pence a kilowatt hour. So it's, it's a different system. It means you don't get to run your dishwasher at seven and a half pence a kilowatt hour. You don't get to run your, you know, your, your washing machine at seven and a half pence a kilowatt hour. Um, but it does mean you don't pay that surcharge during the day. So when you're cooking a roast dinner you know, on a Sunday afternoon, um, instead of paying 41p, you're paying 33.5p for all your cooker use. And uh, I just kind of wanted to work out which is the best option for most people. And now to be access either of those tariffs, you need to have um, one of the long list of electric cars now. Um, the notable exceptions are the Hyundais and the Kias. And I understand that there are issues with the 12 volt batteries because of uh, these services like Octopus and now Ovo, uh, they want to talk to the car, they want to intercept the software on the car, they want to set timers on the car. All of that turning the car on and off is causing some issues with the 12 volt battery system on the car. So um, at the moment, uh, they have blocked third party API access until they resolve that issue. I'm sure it's going to get fixed pretty soon. Apparently the Koreans are very good at software, so um, that shouldn't take too long. So what would make one um, tariff better than the other for you? Uh, well, for a start, the list of cars is pretty similar. You know, there's Teslas, there's Volvos, there's Audis. Um, there's a long list of cars um, for either tariff. If your car is not on the list, like you've got a Hyundai, um, then it depends on what charger you have. For Intelligent Octopus, you would need the Omi charger for um, OVO charge anytime you would need either the OMI charger or the Indra charger. If you have solar and you do not have an Indra charger, you cannot use OVO charge anytime at the moment. That might change, there might be some software updates in the future. Keep an eye on things. 
but at the moment you cannot use solar with OVO charge anytime unless you have an Indra Smart Pro charger. Now I do have solar, I do have the Indra charger. Uh, at the moment I am with Intelligent Octopus and it is working really well for me, as I said earlier. If you have a home battery, um, that has the effect of shifting your electricity consumption into the off-peak hours because you can charge your battery either for free with your solar panels or at night during those off-peak hours and that reduces your daytime electricity consumption. So the big question is really how much of your usage um, do you need to put into the off-peak hours or into your car to make it work um, better on Intelligent Octopus or better on, on OVO. So I've got my little crib sheet, um, scribbled down some notes earlier on the back of an envelope. Um, don't have a fact packet to hand, so back of an envelope, quick bit of math. So here we go with the maths bit, and I've had to reshoot this loads of times, um, to kind of struggling to get the information correct and in a kind of understandable form. Um, so what I have done is in the description for the video, so I just kind of click down there on, on the uh, description bit um, under the title um, that I've drawn a little table up and that will show the mix with um, some more numbers on it than this. But just to keep it, it simple, if you did 100% usage with um, Intelligent Octopus during your peak hours, you didn't use anything in the six hours overnight, you'll work out on your bill that you average 41p per kilowatt hour. Um, it might be a couple of pence difference to that in your area, but that's how it works out for me. And if I was with OVO and I did 100% um, household consumption, none into the car, I'd be paying 33p. So OVO would be cheaper. If it was the other way around, if I was 100% off peak use or 100% car consumption, Intelligent Octopus would cost me 7.5p a kilowatt hour and OVO would be 10p. So clearly at that point, Intelligent Octopus is the cheaper one. I've looked at the in-between stuff. It's um, in the table in the description. So you've got to pick your own numbers out of that. And uh, you might want to kind of diff change things around slightly just as electricity prices change. And of course your uh, local prices might be slightly different to mine. It, it varies a little bit by region around the UK. But at the 25% off peak use, 75% peak use with Octopus Intelligent, that's where you start to undercut the default uh, tariffs for non-EV tariffs. That's where you come down to around the 33p mark. Um, but with OVO, if you're putting anything into your uh, into your car, um, because you only pay 10p for that bit, it's going to bring you down. So if a quarter of your consumption went into your car, you'd be working out about 28p. So it's absolutely true. If you're a light user of electricity, if you've got a plug-in hybrid, if you don't do many miles, if you've got a very efficient car, um, then OVO is going to be the way to go for you. Now, in my own case, I reckon I put 50% of my energy use into the off-peak hours and 50% into the peak hours, um, partly because I have a big and efficient car, I do a lot of miles, and I've got a small solar system that just reduces my daytime consumption a little bit. So for me, it works out with that kind of 50-50 split peak to off-peak. I spend 24 pence per kilowatt hour averaged out between my kind of peak price and my off-peak price. Now, not all of my energy in the off-peak period goes into the car. Some of it goes into household use. I've already mentioned I run the dishwasher overnight in those off-peak hours. I run the washing machine. We've got security cameras. We've got Wi-Fi. We've got heating controls. Uh, we've got a lot going on in the house 24 hours a day, kind of background consumption. So I think that 50% of my use um, off-peak for car charging, actually about 40% of my use is going into the car and the other bit of it is going into the house. And at a 60-40 split household consumption, car consumption with OVO, I am also coming in at 24p per kilowatt hour. So uh, just looking through this, if your energy consumption is kind of 50-50 off peak hours with Intelligent Octopus, or if it's greater than that in the off-peak hours, say you've got solar battery, you've got a very efficient house, um, you do a lot less laundry because you haven't got two kids like me, um, then you know you could work out very well for you um, to stay with Intelligent Octopus. If you're a light user, um, 
in your significantly below 50% of your energy consumption in off-peak hours, and um, you know that's all going into your car, then it looks like OVO might be the way forward for you. So I've drawn up a little table, you can pick out your own numbers, uh, work it out for you, but I think with a 50-50 split, whichever tariff I'd be on, I'd be paying 24 pence per kilowatt hour. Um, and that is fine with me, so I'm gonna stay put. I'm pleased with the Octopus app. I am pleased with um, the customer service that I've had. Um, so, you know, I've got no reason to switch at the moment. And I am also keeping those referrals alive and that is all going to charity. So uh, link is below in the description once again. Um, just do let me know if you are referring, uh, doing the referral and um, let me know in the comments and I will make a charitable donation equivalent to that referral fee. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you found this information useful.